Hi friends, today I'll tell you what kind of results you can expect if Mars is your Dharakarika. Yes friends, now friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want consultation my number is there in the video description. Mars, Mars the planet of energy, enthusiasm, ambition, passion, even sex drive. If that planet is your Dharakarika, then what kind of results you can expect? Friends, Dharakarika is a concept in Gemini astrology. The planet which occupies the lowest degree in your birth chart is said to be your Dharakarika. And that planet, Dharakarika, is the significator of your spouse, that is your life partner, usually after marriage. So your life partner is referred to as Dharakarika. If Mars is your Dharakarika, what kind of results you can expect? So we will look into that. Now, if Mars is your Dharakarika and if Mars is more or less in good dignity, that is, if the zodiac sign in which Mars is placed, the sign lord is well placed in the chart, say in houses 1, 5, 9 or 10, if the nakshatra in which Mars is placed, the nakshatra lord is also well placed in the chart, then definitely we can say that Mars is more or less in good dignity and if Mars is not afflicted in the chart by certain planets which are inimical to Mars. So if it is in conjunction with friendly planets, then definitely it will be good for, uh, you know, the placement of Mars. So just look at Mars's placement, how it is placed, and you will understand its dignity. If more or less it is in good dignity, then all these qualities you can see in your spouse. So your spouse, uh, that is your, the, either your husband or wife, will be someone who will be energetic, who will be passionate in life about things, who will be passionate in love, definitely, uh, who will have a great desire uh, even to connect with you, uh, who may also have great ambition in life, definitely, uh, and your spouse will be uh, full of enthusiasm, energy, willpower, courage, will have a lot of courage, yes, friends. And also your spouse uh, may definitely be willing to take initiative, uh, you know, to do things. He will, uh, he or she will take initiative, we will have leadership qualities, will have the capability to lead others. So we'll have leadership abilities. And if Mars is your Dharakarika, then all these qualities definitely you will get to see in your spouse. Yes, friends, what else we can say? Your spouse will also be conscious about their health. Uh, maybe a fitness freak, yes, will be conscious about maintaining uh, their, you know, physique. Uh, will be, uh, if Mars is not under affliction, uh, then Mars, uh, and especially look at the planets in which, uh, with which Mars is in conjunction. So, uh, say if Mars is uh, your Dharakarika, then and if you know there is no other planet which is influencing mars otherwise then uh, your spouse you know will have a well-built body and will also may have an athletic uh, you know uh, personality or will have an athletic body uh, will uh, will you know almost uh, will have a will be very physically fit because Mars, the planet Mars is associated with a soldier or with an army general or army officer. So we'll really be, you know, we'll have a well-built body, well-structured body and neither fat nor thin. I mean, we'll be very physically fit and also could be physically attractive. And also your spouse will also have physical desire, definitely sexual desire. Uh, can, that also can be you know signified by Mars and that also but it has to be in proportion so that is the uh, flip side of this placement if Mars is uh, kind of uh, afflicted or anything or, or if it is not in very good dignity in the chart then there may be an excess of sexual desire or okay um, uh, which could be a sort of obsession uh, with your life partner um, then that is uh, something which is to be uh, dealt with uh, very carefully but yeah over time along with maturity definitely um, say, say after the age of 35 to 40 years definitely um, you know there will be a decline in such um, uh, you know tendencies definitely there can be a natural decline as well 
so anyway friends uh, so if mars is your dharakaraka then all these things you can expect and what else you can expect uh, your spouse also will be disciplined definitely if mars is morulis in good dignity if it is in the dharma trikona houses especially houses 1 5 or 9 or even in the 10th house your spouse will be very disciplined disciplined routine bound yes definitely so all these are very positive things about mars and he will be as he or she your spouse uh, will be very protective also will have the power the ability to protect you yes that also so definitely all these positive qualities can be there friends and also your spouse can have great uh, ability to argue logically will have argumentative ability definitely will have the ability to you know stand against enemies and you know stand up for justice and stand up for what they believe to be right so all these abilities you know uh, your spouse will have all right then friends what else you can say uh, you can also say that one second friends i'll just just one second just just a second yeah then friends what else you can say that uh, Uh, what else uh, so your spouse uh, sorry for the interruption uh, your spouse also will uh, you know friends um, um, yeah I- i'm so sorry i there was a break i'm very sorry for that so your spouse also will uh, be someone you know who will actually um, uh, mars will be very uh, work oriented this can happen because mars naturally gets exalted in the 10th house yes uh, of uh, where you have the sign of capricorn in the natural zodiac so your spouse may be work oriented he may be workaholic he may even be a workaholic if mars is in good dignity definitely so all these positive things on the flip side we can say that you know there are certain uh, negative things also if mars more or less if say if especially if mars is not in good dignity then your spouse may have anger issues that may be there <clears throat> if uh, you know may at times get very angry uh, may not be able to control their anger or uh, the you know violent outbursts of anger uh, may get aggressive at times uh, may take recourse to violent behavior this may happen so th- this also might happen if mars is not in that in very good dignity in the chart or especially if it's afflicted it can happen that you know um, all these issues anger issues aggression violence so these problems may be there so and that is again one negative uh, aspect about this placement all right friends otherwise uh, the positive side is that they will be full of life they will be full of enthusiasm energy stamina they won't get tired easy, easily yes and they will try to keep themselves busy in some activity or the other um, either physical or even mental because they have great ability to you know uh, argue uh, logically uh, definitely usually this will happen if also in your chart mercury is well placed and also in your spouse's chart if mercury is well placed and if mars is in good dignity then they will have the ability to argue logically and also friends um, you know uh, what else you can say that uh, uh, the you know when mars is the karaka then uh, mars is also the natural significator of the 8th house so your spouse uh, may be someone uh, who may uh, who may believe in okay um, b- believe in maintaining their privacy this can also happen because uh, mars is your dharakaraka so they may be very they are so disciplined that they would always keep the uh, private life you know separate from the professional life this can happen definitely they may believe in maintaining privacy even you know secrecy about certain matters because mars is connected to the 8th house so um, if mars is the natural significator of the 8th house and say especially look at the nakshatra in which mars is placed if mars is in say for example gemini in mrigashira nakshatra then uh, your spouse can have great analytical skills definitely um, it can have look at the nakshatra in which mars is placed uh, so it can ge- make your spouse very analytical uh, he may be a seeker of knowledge he or she may be a seeker of knowledge 
especially in Mrigashurya Nakshatra, may be in quest of knowledge, uh, may want to explore various fields of knowledge or various, uh, you know, things in his life, Want to may want to acquire knowledge about various things if it is in Mrigashurya Nakshatra, especially because this Nakshatra falls in Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury. So all these things can happen. So uh, look at the Nakshatra also. Uh, how the Nakshatra Lord is placed in the chart. Um, nakshatra Lord of Mrigashira Nakshatra is Mars itself. So look at uh, so you have to look at Mars's placement. If Mars is well placed, then this uh, Nakshatra placement can give very good results to especially to natives. You know, to male natives if they have Mars in Mrigashira, that's very good for male natives. In female natives, uh, suppose if Mars is in Mrigashira, then one thing, friends, there is one uh, situation might be there, which is not compulsory, but it might be there because in the in a fem in a female chart, if Mars is in Mrigashira, then Mrigashira falls in Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, so that means Mars is in um, uh, Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is also the planet of impotency. Yes, friends. So, um, because Mercury is neither masculine nor feminine, so impotency is associated with Mercury. So, if in a female chart, if Mars is in Mrigashira Nakshatra and Mars is in Gemini, then um, uh, the husband might have some potency issues, some uh, problem of impotency, or might be, uh, you know, that uh, issue may be, uh, you know, either uh, it may be a mild form of impotency or it could be even serious depending on uh, the dignity of Mars. This can happen. Also, friends, if Mars is in Mrigashida Nakshatra and say if Mars is in Gemini especially, if Mars is in Gemini, then if uh, your spouse has used the energy of Mercury very positively, then this problem can be minimized. It is not necessary that it will always happen. Um, you know that it, it it will always happen in you know great measure it is not that compulsory but yeah if they have used the energy of uh, mercury in a positive way mercury can be information technology if your spouse is into information technology into finance sector into any kind of profession where calculation is necessary data analysis is necessary then all these things can be positive if uh, Mercury can also, <clears throat> Mars is in a zodiac sign which is ruled by Mercury. So your spouse will be very intelligent, no doubt, will be very witty and humorous as well. This, all these things are positive. But then uh, again, the f f on the flip side, we can say that uh, this uh, physically, they might be, uh, you know, uh, they might have some issues. So some uh, impotency, some form of impotency might be there, especially if in a female chart. Mars is in Gemini. It can happen. So friends, look at the dignity of Mars in your chart and uh, then you will come to know about the nature of your spouse. And friends, you know, if Mars is your Dharakarika, then uh, you will also look for these qualities in your life partner. You will also want your life partner to be energetic, lively, to be someone who's very, you know, dynamic, who has a dynamic personality, someone who keeps himself busy, someone who's, you know, enthusiastic about life, someone who takes initiative, you know, uh, in doing things, someone who has original ideas, someone who is protective, someone who can protect you, someone who has a good physique. So, so someone who has passion, who has desire, who has, you know, even physical desire for you. So you will also want your spouse to have such qualities. If Mars is your Dharakarika, this will happen. And if Mars is your Dharakarika, friends, then Mars will be a very important planet in your spouse's chart. It may be either in one of the Dharma Trikona houses, like one houses one, five or nine, or even even in, te, in house 10, or, uh, you know, the zodiac signs that are ruled by Mars, that is, you know, Aries or Scorpio. They may be there in the ascendant, in the ascendant or in the first house. So your spouse may be, uh, you know, uh, either an Aries ascendant or a Scorpio ascendant, because Mars will be a very, very important planet in your spouse's chart if you have Mars as Dharakarika. So definitely, uh, this can happen. So just look at uh, the dignity of Mars in your chart, friends. If Mars is your Dharakarika, then definitely you can, you will experience some of these results which I have tried to cover in this video. So I hope I have not forgotten anything, friends. Uh, your spouse will have a lot of courage, willpower, uh, will have, uh, you know, a, a lot of ambition. 
yes definitely the desire to take initiative yeah all these things they will have leadership qualities so all these things will they will have definitely have these qualities and yeah so it has many positive things they will be disciplined also very disciplined so yeah definitely these things so let us look at the positive things friends and uh, yeah so look at, let us look at the positive aspect but then yeah we should also be careful if mars is there karaka then uh, your spouse especially uh, should be careful about you know uh, their anger issues if they have any uh, they need to kind of you know uh, see to it that there is a uh, imbalance should not be there mars is a fiery planet so the fire element should not be out of proportion uh, everything should be in proportion so anger uh, aggression so these things also they should be controlled and even physical too much of uh, physical desire obsession with physical desire that is also not good so that also should be in some proportion so these things are to be kept in mind and uh, as uh, their life partner you need to support your spouse in whatever way you can friends because after all marriage is a spiritual bond it is a spiritual relationship so that was my take on mars as the rakarka see you next time friends with some other interesting topic in astrology don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye for today bye